So today I'd like to show you how to disguise your affiliate link as well as discuss why you should disguise your affiliate link. Please do yourself a favor and do not jump ahead as I'm going to show you four free tools that I use often are indispensable. I'm sure that you do not want to miss them. I'm pretty sure by now you have realized that social media does not take very kindly to affiliate links. And I'm very sure you've come across the situation where you've tried to send an affiliate link via Facebook Messenger and Facebook Messenger told you that they will not send the link or block you, um, that it's a bad link. I'm not even going to mention they're trying to run an ad on social media with your affiliate link is damn near impossible. And not just that, but an affiliate link is actually a very ugly link. So there's a good reason to disguise your link and make it a look more a bit professional. Well, I'm not trying to sell you anything in this video, but just to stay on the safe side, let's have a quick look at my disclaimer. So before getting to the thick of things, and I'll show you how to disguise your affiliate link, would it be okay if I asked you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified of any new videos that I upload. Thank you, it's much appreciated. Now firstly, I'd like to point out that purchasing a domain and using subdomains is actually the right way to go. But if you're just getting started with affiliate marketing and you are strapped for cash, the easiest way to disguise your affiliate link would have to be to go to Google Docs. So let's jump into my PC, let me show you. So the first thing we need to do is head over to Google and just search for Google Docs and then click on Google Docs, it's available uh, worldwide as well as free um, so feel free to open up an account once you've created your account or you've um, logged in you can just click on this blank on the plus for blank document open up a blank document while that is loading I am going to grab my affiliate link and I'm going to copy my affiliate link, open up a new tab, paste it in there, so we can open up the page that the customer is actually going to land on. Now before you say, oh I know what this was going on and I know what a Google Doc is all about, uh, don't skip ahead, they're actually three very valuable tools that I want to share with you. Uh, so what we need to do is create a Google Doc which is going to be the barrier between um, your affiliate link and the social media platform that you're using. Um, but we want to make this page as congruent or as similar looking as possible. Um, the reason we want to do that is if you send a customer to your Google Doc and it's a red page and all of a sudden they land on a blue page, uh, the customer might think they are on the incorrect page and just leave the page and get confused. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do then is you see this green little uh, heading on the top. Uh, we want to duplicate that. A, one of the free tools that you can use is canva.com also free to use available worldwide I would presume seriously once it's loaded you need to click on create a design and let me just close this you can click on custom size now if you go back to your Google Doc you would see that it's more or less seven and a half inches 
and if you look at this this might be an inch or half an inch I'm gonna go with a half an inch so all that you need to do is change pixels to inches 7.5 inches and I'm gonna go 0 0.5 and then just click on create new design so the first thing we want to do is change the color to green and then the second tool that I want to share with you is this um, colorzilla which is also a free chrome extension so all that we need to do once it's installed is click on the little eyedropper click on the color you want to sample you'll see it's copied the green color you can just go to color picker and you will see this is the hex value which we can just copy head over back to our canva design click on the created uh, page click up here to create uh, change the background color click on custom colors and you can just paste in the new hex color uh, doesn't look exactly the same let's just retry this that looks better now we want to add the text it says attention if you're using Facebook to attract your clients you need to read this um, this by the way is actually a very very um, exciting tool um, it's a Chrome extension um, every time somebody sends you a free request the little chrome extension sends a reply to them um, which you can customize uh, and it helps to weed out fake profiles or spammers uh, it says it saved me a lot of time in the past uh, but basically if you send them a message and they do not reply uh, you know that it's a fake account or a bot that has sent it and this extension then actually after a set period of time deletes the friend request uh, a nice way to start a conversation um, but also a very nice way to share your affiliate link um, so a little message that you could type up is thank you very much for sending me a friend request may I ask you why did you send me a friend request um, you can ask them how they're doing and then just say while I'm waiting for your reply um, this is what I do online and you add your affiliate link and the chances of people clicking on the link to see what you do and perhaps they're interested in the product and they make a purchase um, but in any case so we need to copy this text go back to canva click on text I'm just going to add a heading and we can actually paste it in there then we're going to definitely select all and make this as large as possible i think that's a little too big next let's just move that you see there's a little that little purple line that popped up shows that it's nice in the center and now we want to change the text color um, there's a preset of white so that looks the same you can just click on download you can download in different formats I would suggest use a PNG download it it will start in a second you can see it's started downloading I'm just going to pause until it's downloaded and there we go it's been downloaded it normally downloads to your download folder just head over back to your Google Doc insert insert the image upload from computer and then your downloads and this is the one that we've just created open now you can click on the image I like to do this must and then wrap it behind the text and you can also put it in a fixed position on this page that way you can actually drag it up a little bit more to the top let's see if we can resize this 
that works out perfectly straight up to the top and that is very much similar to our page now now we need to add, add some text um, convert more with real potential leads we can just copy this back to our Google Doc and what we want to do is paste without formatting now we need to change the font how do we know what font this is this is one of my other favorite tools it is called what font you can just click on what font I like the font and it tells you the font as well as the size so let's go back to our Google Doc uh, or let's just see if this is the same font same font yes so let's change the font first hmm okay so we've changed the font and then just to do it italic so we can just use our color picker again there we are on the orange let's copy the hex value change the text color there we go see this is written nice and big and it's centralized and then we can just change the font size there we go let's just centralize this again okay now the text convert more with is actually written in white so let's use our color picker again and pick this blue it's actually as you can see it's an image but let's get it as close as possible so you can just go to file page setup the whole document custom color and now we can change this to white starting to look like something let's copy this let's just paste it without formatting now as we can see this is in white that is in green so let's change the color to white let's 
let's do this a bit bold and we can just go to our color picker color picker history it was that green let's just change the text color there we go and let's resize it a little bit and i think this looks fine i'm not going to add a lot more all that we need to do now is add a call to action button um, so we can open up a new tab and we can just search for um say button and let's just look at the button here the call to action button it's red so button red and we can say um see more click on images now be sure to use a non copyrighted image you can click on usage rights creative common license that you are you're free to use those and we can just scroll down until we find a suitable button let's take out the color click here to read more that's a nice one I am going to save this image now if we add this image it's going to have this gray background around it and we can remove that by using another free tool um, remove dot bg and we can just go to our download folder and just drag and drop this image in there and it will remove this background for us just download the image it's done we go back to our google doc insert a image upload from computer there we go so the last thing now is to go back and grab our affiliate link again and copy the affiliate link click on the image click on this little insert link button and paste your affiliate link and click apply so there you have just created a page that would redirect customers without any social media noticing that you're using an affiliate link now to get your link you're going to click on share Just save the document you can name it anything you can remember only people added can open with this you definitely want to change this to anyone with the link and then you can copy your link and if we go to a different browser and we paste in this link your google doc would open there we go so you can share this link with everybody but now the thing is that this link actually is a very long link and it looks very ugly so we can actually shorten this link by going to a site called bit.ly bit.ly also free to use available worldwide open up your free account 
or if you have one already just log in go to create link enter your long link paste click on create and there your link is neatly shortened pointing to a google doc and you shouldn't have any more problems with social media platforms or running advertising just copy the link and save it somewhere safe so now we need to double check double check double check take your shortened link paste it into a new tab let's make sure that the google document loads the google document is loading let's see if the button is working and boom now before you go let me switch back to the com uh, to the um, uh, camera there is something i'd really like to talk to you about i have been in an affiliate marketing for a couple of years now and i've figured out what works and what does not perhaps you would be interested in clicking the link in the description below it's to a free course that my business partner and i created that shows you step by step how to set up a profitable affiliate marketing business as well as the main ingredient how to send traffic how to get thousands of eyes on your product so what are you waiting for click on that link i hope you found this useful and that you have fun disguising your affiliate links Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel and if you hit that bell notification icon you would be notified of every new video I upload. Till next time, cheers.